Welcome back to my channel, you guys. So today I wanted to talk about uh, what I've been doing for the past two weeks. So if you haven't noticed, our setup is back. Um, I did post one video prior to the leave um, and I didn't have my extender arm or tripod or whatever you call it i didn't have that at the time so the video was very shaky and kind of gave me like those back in the day video vibes when i first started uh doing youtube um one-handed with flipping with one hand and holding the camera with the other so yeah it gave me like those old old video vibes however we're back and uh, a lot of things have kind of changed a little bit um so i wanted to share that with you i'm going to briefly walk over the ring bound planner and walk you into what i'm using now and share just one other thing that i decided to use for 2021 so this here is a webster's pages personal ring bound planner and it is in the color mustard and this binder i know is hard to find um, I don't know if they have it on the site or if it's still still st uh, sold out. I'm going to move you guys. I'm sorry. Um, I probably should have did this before filming, but I moved you guys just a little bit. Um, but like I said, I don't know if it's sold out uh, on the website or on Amazon. I know for Amazon for Germany, it's definitely sold out there unless you can find it. Um, but when I last looked, they did not have it at all. Anywho, um, the binder itself is beautiful. You know, I really, really, really love the binder itself. However, it is a magnet. It is a absolute magnet for dirt and lint and everything else. Um, and yeah, there's so many things that you can't do with this binder in terms of like water around you, especially if you're clumsy like myself. Um, and yeah, <laughs> there's just a lot of things that I dislike about having this binder. It's a faux suede binder mixed in with faux leather, so um, not real leather. Um, what do you call it? Um, I don't really know what to call it. Um, something along the lines of like a compliment, complimentary thing, something like that. Um, anywho, I took this with me when we left and I've taken out lots of stuff. So the only things really in here are the inserts. I'm going to briefly walk you through what I did while I was away. Um, so like I mentioned before we left, I used, and I'll zoom you guys in so you can see, hopefully that helps. Um, I had a monthly one month on a page, which was a line a day, and I had decided to use it more along the lines of gratitude, and I did it up until day six, and then I completely just stopped doing it. Uh, a lot has happened in the last two weeks, both good and a lot of bad, um, a ton of bad. And so that kind of deterred me from wanting to open my planner, wanting to use it. I wasn't feeling too well um, some of the days. So, it, you know, it was just one of those things. No, I didn't have COVID, if anyone's wondering. Um, but I just personally wasn't feeling too well. Um, secondly, um, when I set this planner up, I set this planner up with the intentions that I would be using it into the new year along with other things and I actually did not like this setup or um, yeah, I, let me just say I just didn't like the setup itself because the binder is actually pretty good. Um, so I put all the monthlies in here and all of the weeklies in here and I actually feel like I could have gotten away with just a little bit because I just took up space that I actually didn't need to take up um, on a trip. So anywho, I have this monthly and if you have watched any of my previous videos when I use a A6 um, traveler's notebook with pocket notebooks, 
I do the same thing in pretty much all of my calendar spaces. I either have space on the side where I can put um, different things that happen on different days or I have space enough where I can add uh, little things into the calendar. Because these boxes are extremely teeny teeny tiny, um, the stickers take up majority of the box and this subscription kit that I have is itty bitty and it is the teeniest tiniest sticker kit that is offered so um although the stickers are really really small they actually are not that small they actually take up an ample amount of space so i found myself missing that sidebar um and also i tried to add in a couple of things but i didn't want to junk it up too much because it didn't look right so yeah i think that if i was to ever use these inserts again i would definitely have to leave the month monthly blank um so that i had space to put certain things in there or at least another monthly where i could do forward planning um if i'm moving to the weekly inserts and i'm just gonna briefly walk past them because i kind of talked about this a little bit in my last video uh i am a lister so doing um my stuff this way uh just didn't sit too well um first of all i didn't need dailies and i'm a daily planner i like to set up my day and you know have my to-do list and notes list and add in things throughout the day as you know i usually do um but honestly if I had to, if I thought to do this again, I just wouldn't. I actually used something very similar to this, um, which was a replica of the Hobonichi Weeks. And every time I see a Hobonichi Weeks, I think to myself, I want to get one. And then when I try something similar to it, um, I actually don't like the setup at all. Like the setup in itself just doesn't work for me. So that is why i try things out in similarity first before making purchases um i don't really like the week on one page with notes um i like the idea i've used these inserts in the past and they've worked then but i think that now my whole planning style the things that i add the things that i track is so different from then um that this wouldn't work for me now. Um, I didn't even complete my trackers. This was last week. Last week I tried like the quote unquote no space. And I don't know how some of you ladies do it. However, it definitely was not something for me. This is not something that I would do for myself in the future of planning. Like I would not do this. I almost got a little panicky in a sense, and I don't know if I'm using the right terminology, but I almost got a little bit of panicky as if I needed space on the page to write uh, extra notes. Like I felt like I might have extra notes. And though I didn't look at this planner at all really while it was away, um, when I was setting this up, I felt like I might need to write something. Though I have a whole note section, but I don't know, something about not having space to write on this gave me anxiety. Um, so yeah, I definitely would not ever do that again. And then this is this week and it is what it is. I haven't used it, haven't thought about it, haven't wanted to use it. So um, I also bought a Recollections, well, if I'm backing up, I have a project section in here, which I didn't use. And I also have an appointment section in here, which I only used one day. Um, and I actually have way too many in here for, you know, what is needed. If you guys are blurry, I do apologize. I'm trying to focus it as best I can. Um, but yeah, like I said, I didn't use really any of these things and so it just became wasted space then i have this recollections insert which by the way the recollections um little booklets i showed in a last video so if you didn't get a chance to see that just go back and check it out 
Um, it actually has inserts in it that you can kind of take out and put into your ring bound planners. However, they are a little bit bigger than your typical personal size ring um, inserts. So I trimmed this down and of course all of my inserts in here are a little beat up or ripped of some sort because they've been, you know, in a suitcase for the most part. However, um, if I'm being completely honest, I didn't use any of this and I didn't even come back to this. I showed it, um, but I didn't come back to it at all. I think my intentions were there, but I think my mind was elsewhere. So um, in conjunction with all of this stuff that I used, um, I also had Astology and with this and this, that's a lot of paper. Uh, if you couldn't tell by now, I love paper. I'm a paper uh, lover. I'm not a paper snob. I don't have certain preferences. Um, I do prefer just a little bit thinner of paper, but I prefer um, having a lot of paper versus a little. I don't know. Something about not having enough or running out when I need it um, gives me anxiety. But anywho, I use this in conjunction with the ring bound planner and this was supposed to hold all of my tracking information food journal food log whatever you want to call it however I gave up on it I completely messed up my tracker in the first place I don't know why I did it this way when there wasn't enough space um, and then as far as the sleep tracker I didn't even complete it I started it but gave up on it like everything else in the ring bound planner and um, food log I did for like a week and then I gave up on it. Um, I did a, a day of journaling and then I tried to pick back up the food log but it just didn't happen. So what are the future plans for this book? Well, um, these pages will now become archived pages. Like I'll probably just not finish them and um, divide the page with a tip in and start something else because it would be a waste to not use such a good good expensive book moving forward so i picked up this um, i actually ordered this before i left um it is a a6 cover and i got it off of dun da 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 I got it off of AliExpress and it took a little over two weeks to get here. So this cover is not leather, however, it is beautiful. Okay, it is absolutely beautiful. I got it yesterday when we got back and I hurried up and set it up right away. So all of the stickers that I was hoarding in my personal rings, they all went into this little A6 uh, agenda and this little A6 agenda mimics the Hobonichi don't yell at me for saying this but I think Techo um, I've never owned that I almost bought it but it mimics that in a sense so um, super plain 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 cover um, yeah I just collaged a bunch of stickers on it and yeah, so in the front, I have some Simply Gilded sticky notes that were given to me in Happy Mail. Um, I also bought a little paper pad while I was away in the States, and I just cut this down and tipped it in just to, you know, kind of give the, the book something. Um, stickers that I already had, I put it in here, and then of course, I couldn't figure out what to do with this, so I just left it as is. It has two yearly overviews in here that are completely blank and customizable. So what you do is you put the year up at the top. So it already has the 20, but then you put the ending. So um, it has that. And then there's little boxes. I don't know if you guys can see too well, but there's little boxes over um, the numbers. And that's so you can put in uh, the days of the week now the only downside to this is it doesn't go from a Sunday to um, Sunday to Saturday or a Monday through Sunday type of ordeal 
it starts at one and then you just have to figure out which day that is so um what i did i mean i did follow that pretty much but i just highlight the weekend so i at least know where the weekends are um so yeah that's probably the only thing that i didn't like about this but it actually has really really nice paper it's almost and when i say almost it's almost as thin as the um stayology paper but it's just not as you know as thin so if i'm being in comparison between the two um the lines are way more distinctive on here than they are in the stology because up against you know a sheet behind it you can definitely see the lines but stand alone you can rarely see them so um yeah i think that's why the stology is an award-winning notebook but this one is very uh good in comparison so there are trackers in here and you can just put in there's like a whole year of trackers so you can just put the month that you're in and then track whatever so since I, I've still been tracking I definitely just put you know like my tracker and then picked up where I am it comes with monthlies and instead of filling out monthly with stickers um, I did have another set where I could have did the whole monthly layout very similar to the one in the personal rings However, I just took the stickers that I needed, which was Thanksgiving, Black Friday, and Veterans Day. Um, but I've been utilizing my monthly, and this is a lot of stuff that I needed to put in my monthly when I was away, but didn't have the space to do so. If I'm moving past the monthlies, it goes into a daily, and I think that's what um, I love most. It's a simple system. It lays completely flat. It's little. It's com compact. It's portable. Um, it's everything that I'm not used to and you guys are not used to seeing. It's not chunked up. It's not chunkified. There's not 50 notebooks in here. There's like not overspill. It's just a simple little A6 notebook and I think that's why I like it so much. But anywho, I went back to my simple, simple layouts that I've been doing, which is just like my general to-do list, notes on one side, miscellaneous notes down at the bottom. Um, if I had notes to put for dinner, that's in there. If I had um, anything else, only difference is I've been doing gratitude down at the bottom and seems to be working for me so far i haven't done anything with wednesday um so i will do a plan um i don't know if i'm let me not say that i don't know if i'm gonna do a plan with me in the next video setting up wednesday but uh, i definitely have to do it tonight um but yeah i love it it's a little and compact there's enough dailies in here it looks like for the entire year um the grid is really nice here's a blank one there are numbers here along the side, just like the Hobonichi. And up at the top, it says to do right there. So I think this is going to be great leading into the new year because it's so little and so compact. Um, then the pen of choice I have is a Pilot G2. And then the little pen actually, or the loop actually has a pen holder right here. So there's like a perfect combination of what you, like it's perfect. Like you don't even have to, um, you know, open this up to get your pen. It's not cutting into my pages or anything. So yeah, I love this little, cover so 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 much um but yeah i definitely wanted to share that with you all the last thing that i wanted to let you guys know i don't know where this video is okay so we're at 19 minutes so the last thing that i wanted to share with you all is this a5 binder um i don't know how many of you have followed me for you know for however long, but I actually owned this binder six years ago when Recollections 
first had the zipper binders. So I bought this. I actually had this binder. I threw it away because I didn't think I would ever use an A5 binder again. Um, I was gifted one in Happy Mail. This one is an Agenda 52. I was gifted one, so I have two now. So I don't know what I'll do with, you know, either of them, but I know I'll be bouncing between the two. I like the way that this, this one feels a lot. So I might change into this one because I really do like the way this one feels. This one feels squishy. They definitely changed the material because I don't remember the material being like this squishy before and like feeling like this, but this one definitely feels a lot better. Um, and it's neutral tone, so there's no floral on it. So I have that one, but I actually set up this one. So, um, same inserts that I had back in the day, I have now, and she's chunky. So I'm gonna walk you through what's in here for 2021. So if you are familiar with the Recollections Weekly, Monthly, um, great. It comes with, the binder comes with all of these like hard dividers. That's what I missed the most when I had this binder is that you have like all of these really, really hard dividers. Um, Monique from Arisen You also had a Recollections binder um and she showed like the plastic dividers that comes in it so i highly recommend you know running over to her channel and checking it out because she has so many ideas for like planner setups and like just everything so definitely go to her channel um also uh another inspiration is mermaid kitty 85 on youtube as well on instagram she's been in an a5 binder for quite some time i've been kind of binging binging not binging binging her videos um a bit because she is using an a5 and i'm not used to seeing her in an a5 but anywho enough rambling um just like with the a6 i put some simply gilded wash or not washy what i put some simply gilded uh sticky notes on this i love the fact that all of these um dividers are like that thick cardstock but plasticky this is a non-dated yearly pullout which i just kind of clipped together because i'm not using it yet like i said my my binder is chunky it wouldn't be this way but i have something else in the back that i wanted to share with you all um has to do list in here there's only like 12 and then this is the monthly. So I could appreciate this because um, it's a huge monthly. There's enough space for me to do everything, put my stickers, um, write stuff in here. So I'm excited to use this for 2021. Uh, I have other stuff for 2021 too, but I'm excited to use this for home. And yeah, I can't wait. Um, so I won't go through all of, you know, the inserts. I will show you what I'll get past this because it's so, so chunky. So this is February's um, divider. And then I'll show you what a weekly layout looks like. So this is a weekly. Again, the weekly is huge. So you have a ton of space to put like a ton of different things. You can do so much with these weeklies um plastic divider it just says make today count um i layered that over top of march's um divider which is beautiful recollections don't sleep on um michael's and recollections stuff it may not be what you know a lot of us are used to like the file facts or like the more higher end however they have some really really nice stuff for really inexpensive um and you can get the same kind of setups and you know things for way 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 less so don't go broke trying to mimic what everyone else has buy what you can afford and also um have fun just have fun um this is april's divider 
and then we go into May and this one just says say yes to new adventures and I layered this over the make time for things that make you smile I don't know it fit perfectly over the circle um, and then here's June's and I love the fact that these dividers have foil in them I think that is what makes this even more prettier um, and then July and August which I love the fact that it matches the binder September October November December which just says the best time to celebrate is whenever you can and then we go into ta-da a budget um, book so I actually bought this this is another recollections they were having a sale when I was home so everything was pretty much like 50% off it looked like because um, it was super marked down but anywho I took apart the book and I only put a couple of sheets in here that I needed um, I find the books are a lot harder to take apart now but really what I put in here is just some of the budget sheets now I'm having a hard time trying to find budget sheets online I was looking on Filofax to see if they had any but any of you if you know where to find um, already printed budget sheets please send me in that direction because I don't own a printer so they already need to be printed um, and ready to go but anywho I put six months worth in here so really it's just like your general budget broken down with you know like your goals the descriptions and stuff um, and then you have your spending tracker for each month there's like four weeks you have 10 ways to save your goal and ideas that could help you save and it just repeats itself over and over and over again um, so again, I have that in here and then I added the note pages that the binder came with and then the backing of that. The next thing that I have in here, which isn't really new, it may be new to you guys, is I put in here uh, the chrono plan daily inserts. These may be familiar to you if you've looked in my pocket planner these inserts are now in a5 well they always had them in a5 but i never purchased them until now this is a yearly pullout. Um, it is punched on either side but i covered the holes on this side with washi and covered the holes on this side and just um repunched it so that it you know looked like this side and also, I could remove it without damaging the um, paper too much. But it's a year we pull out, which I've used these in the past for certain things. So, yes, I am excited to use this again. And then once, you know, one side is done, I will punch this side and do the exact same thing. Um, I have a forward planning sheet in here. It's all of 2022. Um, for those of you who don't know, we are military family. So my husband's in the Air Force. And so we will be moving um, in, that, in this year, which is 2022. So I have this in here for all of our forward planning needs. Um, and I'll probably purchase these chrono plan dailies just one more time before we go. Um, because I enjoy them so much. Um, I want to have backups ready to go for that year too. Um, but anywho, it has that and then it goes straight into the daily. So I love this. I only have six months worth, but I love this because there's so much freaking space. Like, I don't know, this just made me extremely excited. But for those busier days, days that I have appointments, days that I have like stuff to do because... I want to eventually start work um, this is just gonna be like the best thing ever for me so I'm excited to use them for 2021 um, and then I added all of like I said my planner is chunky um, I think I'm caught on something too I think anywho my planner is chunky I have some blank note pages in here that were given to me i just ha have these in here for miscellaneous 
you know, randomness. Um, it has no real rhyme or reason why, why they're there. And then the last thing, uh oh, let me not bend the sheet. This is so chunky, you guys. It's ridiculous. But the last thing that I have in here is this book, which is, um, it just says, Find the Beauty in Today. And it's a gratitude book. So when you open it up, um, there's a couple of pages for each day. And it just says, start each day with a grateful heart. So you have your morning of and then evening page. So you can do today, I feel your goals for the day, what you hope for today. And then in the evening you have today you were grateful for, something that you accomplished, and then the best part of the day. It's non-dated, so you know you can write whatever. Um, and then it says today is beautiful. The pages change each you know day. So this two page right here would be a day, and then this would also be a day. And then it goes back into this would be another day so um i love it because they're not repetitive like they're the same thing every day this one says give back and look forward and then you can write some people that you're grateful for and then ways to express gratitude difficult challenges that you may have faced um something positive um and then you can do like a free uh, free kind of prompt where it says today I'm grateful for and then just list out a bunch of things and then find happy and then give beauty and then this one says something that makes me happy right now I can continue this happiness by I can make other people happy by and then some ways that I can create beauty in my life so I loved this book like this book it just repeats itself over and over and over again but the layouts change for the, the next couple of days but they're two days do two day spreads i thought this was so great to have in here um and then oops before i flip back over the last thing that i have in here so my husband picked up a pack of tool pens while we were home and so I begged him for this rose gold colored one. They're in point one, which is not my favorite point. But however, the tool pens are really, really nice. <laughs> um, so yeah, I got this rose gold and black one from him. And yeah, guys, I know this video is super long, but I had a lot of stuff to update you guys on and share with you. And I wanted to, you know share all of the things as always i wanted to share all of the things with you guys so let me know in the comments down below if you like the video if you have any questions about anything let me know and i'll try to do my or i'll do my best to try to get those answered for you and as always i thank you so much for joining me and for watching thank you to all of my new subscribers and i will catch you guys in another one hopefully very soon bye guys